Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. Visit our official web website wingsofarrow.in. Today we will study about stoichiometric fail air ratio. Now what is mean by stoichiometry? The study of mass, mole, number relationship of chemical formulas and reaction. The stoichiometric quantity of oxidizer is just the amount needed to completely burn a quality of fuel. The stoichiometric quantity of oxidizer is just the amount needed to completely burn a quantity of fuel that is a substance A and a substance B. This oxidizer fuel mixture it can be either lean or a rich. When it is lean, when there is more than a stoichiometric quantity of oxidizer in the mixture and we call as rich when there is less than stoichiometric quantity of oxidizer in the mixture. Now we'll see a general equation of a stoichiometric relation. We have taken n compound reactions C suffix X and H suffix Y. This is a general equation Cx Hy plus A O2 plus 3.76 N2. This 3.76 has been derived because in the atmospheric conditions we have 79% of nitrogen in the atmosphere and 21% of the oxygen. The amount of nitrogen contained in the air, so we can write as the volume of the atmosphere, we can get as 3.76 and which provides x amount of CO2 plus y by 2 of H2O and 3.76 of A of N2. Now how to find what is x, y, a and etc. So whereas we have optimized a value of a equals to x plus y by 4. Now what is mean by stoichiometric air fill ratio? Stoichiometric air fill ratio defines a ratio between the mass of air with the mass of fuel. Now how to find the mass of air and mass of fuel? The mass of air can be find as 4.76 of a. The a is already are going to find out using generalizing the equation molecular weight of an air and mw fuel molecular weight of an fuel next comes equivalence ratio equivalence ratio is defined as an by the letter phi this means a air fuel ratio stoichiometric to the air fuel ratio which is combusted in the combustion chamber or it can also be written as an fuel by air by and fuel by air ratio of stoichiometric. Now it can be either a lean or rich combustions. If the fuel lean combustions, the major products are CO2, H2O, O2 and N2 and the minor products are HC, CO, H2, NO. Now if the fuel is in rich combustions, the major products are CO2, H2O, CO, H2, N2. Now for a minor products will be HC, O2, NO. These are the required data and now we will see what happens if the fuel is rich and lean. When the phi the equivalence ratio is greater than 1 we call as fuel is rich mixture and the, when the equivalence ratio is less than 1 we call as a lean mixture and when the equivalence ratio that is phi equals to 1 we call as an stoichiometric ratios as you can find using this graph. This is a graph between the power and the air fill ratio. We usually consider for an IC engine that stoichiometric air fill ratio is 14.7 is to 1. Now we'll see what is a percentage of stoichiometric and percentage in excess air. Now for the percentage of stoichiometric air can be found that 100 percentage of that equivalence ratio. Using that we can find this stoichiometric air. Now how we can find the percentage of excess air 
in the fuel air mixture using this relation that is 1 minus of phi by phi into 100 next we'll see a small problem based on the stoichiometry a small low emission stationary gas turbine engine operates at full loaded 3950 kW at an equivalence ratio of 0.286 with an air flow rate of 15.9 kg per second. The equivalence composition of the fuel that is natural gas is C of 1.16 and H 4.32. Determine the fuel mass flow rate and operating air fuel ratio for the engine. In this, what are the given data? You can see the given data are highlighted using bold letters. So we'll see what are the given data. The first given data is the equivalence ratio, which is 0.286 and which is less than 1. So we can consider it is a lean mixture ratio. Next comes mass flow rate of air that is m dot of air that is 15.9 kg per second. Next given data was molecular weight of air. So molecular weight of the air is already been given and we can find out using that we know that nitrogen we have a 79 percentage of volume and the oxygen is 21 percent of the volume and we know its compositions that is 0.79 into 28 that is a molecular weight of a nitrogen and the molecular weight of an oxygen is 32 so we have multiplied and we got as 28.85 kg per mole Similarly, we can find the molecular weight of a fuel that is MW of fuel it, which is uh, C1.16 and H4.32 and molecular weight of a carbon is 12 and molecular weight of a hydrogen is 1.008. So we have added and multiplied with the respective components and we get as 18.286. Or roughly we can estimate 18.3 kg per mole now what is to find we need to find two factors one is the mass flow rate of a fuel that is m dot of fuel and the air flow ratio air and fuel ratio now this is our general equation that is c suffix x and hx plus a into o2 plus 3.76 of nitrogen which gives x amount of carbon dioxide plus y by 2 amount of hydro water and 3.76 of a into n2 now as per our question this is our general equation that is c is 1.16 and h 4.32 so here x is 1.16 and y is 4.32 we gonna apply in this formula to find the value of a a equals to x plus 4 y by 4 which gives the a value is 2.24 now we can equate the equation and recalling the stoichiometric air fuel ratio the stoichiometric air fuel ratio is a by f stoichio equals to 4.76 of a mo molecular weight of air by molecular weight of a fuel now substituting this values on the respective formula and we get as air by fill stoichiometry equals to 16.82 now we will again recall the equivalence ratio phi phi is already given in this formula in this question so we will recall the formula first phi equals to a by f stoichio by a by f now we know the a by f stoichio that is 16.82 and phi value is already known to us that is 0 0.286 now applying this we can find that is what is an air fill ratio air fill ratio is 58.81 now this is one of our opt-in answer second thing is we need to find out what is a mass flow rate of an fuel so we can recall that air by fuel equals to mass flow rate of an air by the mass flow rate of a fuel and according to our given data mass flow rate of air is already been given and recently we have found out that a by f ratio so substituting in this above equation we get as mass flow rate of the fuel equals to 0 0.27 kg per second so we have obtained our required answer 
the D's air by fill ratio is 58.81. Another obtained answer is mass flow rate of a fuel which is 0.27 kg per second.